Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to our Vintage Survival Series here on the new map. In the previous episode, I had mentioned that I was going to see about getting some trees down and cutting in a field right here. Well, as you can see, we are doing exactly that, the cutting in the field part. The trees are already down. Um already taken and sold and everything I just wanted to get that over with that was uh, some nice off-camera work to, to just get done so that we can get on with the more important things you know the farming <laughs> not everyone is into logging in this game I'm one of those that can just take it or leave it. I basically like being able to take down trees to get them out of my way and make a little money from them while I'm doing it. But I prefer it to not be the main focus of anything I do, if that makes sense. So a lot of times, unless it's important to the story I'm telling in some way, or uh, if it's a lot of trees that I'm taking down and it's going to take a long time and I don't want to have to answer questions on oh where'd you get all that money all of a sudden you know um, this is pretty minor uh, I think there were six or seven trees that I took down I lost I, I've forgotten I guess I didn't really lose count because I didn't count count and I just kind of half paid attention. <laughs> but that's all right, because once again, we don't really care that much. It's more about getting the land ready for doing the farming. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have that issue, aren't we? So the last time I tried this fix for this issue, they came back which is really frustrating. But there's, like, right there, there's one. So I'll have to go in there and replow that area, or at least cultivate it. Get rid of that grass. Here's another one. There we go, and there we go. So I am spending a little money. I'll fix the money afterwards, because... I shouldn't have to spend money. And I have to fix the money anyways, because this is not the first time I've already done that in this while recording this, if that makes sense. I, I guess during the prep for this. Oh, I didn't even get it all. Good job. Plants. I'm just hoping it doesn't come back, because it's annoying. There we go. Back to it. That is how you can at least try to get rid of ground textures that uh, aren't removed when you plow. Which, in my opinion, is a bug in the game. But, eh, what do you do? Um, you just paint over them with grass. This should be it. Did I nail it? Oh, I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it. Look at that. I nailed it. <laughs> and that's the sort of thing that is why I like trailed chisel plows for doing this. My buddy Richard, uh, he likes front-mounted plows for doing it. He says that's how he has the best control. I feel like I have the best control. It's probably a practice thing uh, when using a trailed chisel plow. I can usually get exactly where I want to be with no issues. And that was not an issue with my skill. That was an issue with I was pushing a dog away. Mr. Diesel thought he was going to come in here and uh, demand attention. 
and uh, butted his head right up in here. Oh, I suppose this is a good time. Wonderful. They're on their second field. They're still on their first field, but hey, looking good. I did try to edit the traffic. The edit did not take. I'm going to have to have another look at that after I finish recording this episode. But I did, between last episode and this episode, have a look at that. Um, so, yeah. Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to quit chitter-chattering at you. Babbling away here. And get on with the plowing. And when I'm done with Z plowing, I will fix the money and then bring you guys back for the rest of the work to get this field ready to go. Alrighty. I will talk to you guys in a little while. everybody if that all worked out you guys will have seen a nice time lapse of that field being cultivated by a course play worker and now we're gonna <coughs> pardon me ride with this auto drive worker <coughs> to uh, go and deliver the last load of sunflowers for all three fields will be delivered after this then we have to check on our sugar beet harvester and driver to see how they are doing. I'm probably going to kick this tractor on to delivering, or not delivering, um, carting for the sugar beet as well. That way I have both of them going, why is it slowing down so much? Because it's turning. Duh. <laughs> All right, so this is, as I said, the final load. This is not where it's going. It's just using this as a turnaround. Apparently, the corner going the other way is broken. Nice. Real nice. Downside to riding with the auto drive is that because I'm here, the traffic shows up. Yep, I was afraid of that. Come on, turn off. There we go. So apparently the left there is busted. Add that to the five million things to fix. It's there, I don't... I'm probably going to just completely nuke this auto drive 
it was automatically generated from the AI traffic data and it does not seem to have done a very good job. So I'm probably going to nuke it and just record my own. It is not a big map. This should be a super simple map to do this on, uh, at least for the main roads. But, yeah, that's where we're at. And uh, it's just a matter of time, I guess, whether I have said time or not. So here we are coming up to the delivery point here. That should not slow down like that. Alrighty. So they made the, uh, the trigger a little larger than the great area itself, which is fine. Whatever. Um, I wouldn't have done it that way, but it's fine. All right, so we got an extra $1,126. We're going to put a stop on this guy. Let's have a look at our contracts. We have four total completed, including the first of the sugar beet contracts. So we're just going to go through and collect them all. And now sugar beet is almost done over on field 24. So if I hit 24, 25, 26 point, and hit the sugar mill, we can send him off to get helping with that. Not that it's going to do a whole lot of good when our truck decides to park in a very awkward spot. Let's just pull him back onto the field now. Oh, he's darn near full anyway. Can we just send him on his way? Beautiful. And while he's headed out, the other one should be along. We need to put our harvester back home, which is just that easy. Done. Beautiful. So that is that. Parked up. I should probably pressure wash it, huh? Nice, I can, I can make it. I love the pressure washer HUD. I should really put that into more of my saves. Because sometimes you're washing it and it doesn't seem like it's actually doing anything. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't make or it doesn't seem like it's doing anything, but it actually is. So I just get impatient sometimes, I guess. Alrighty, we'll run over here. I don't know if you guys saw during the time lapse, but he literally drove through the pond. I mean, was almost totally submerged in water. He was like down here like this, driving through the pond. It worked, but. Uh, I wasn't very impressed with the AI there. <laughs> if I... Wait, am I ever impressed with the AI? <laughs> no. <laughs> I bet if I do that, it'll complain at me. Don't drive too deeply in the water. Yeah, see? Pretty deep, though, before it says it. And that's about where the worker was at. Pretty crazy in the end. Uh, you might be wondering, why did I cultivate? Well, I did the plowing, which you guys knew about. Then off camera, I ran the fertilizer spreader there. And I have fertilizer in 
the cedar. So rather than fertilizing a second time using the actual fertilizer spreader, we'll let the cedar do the job. So, full of both uh, seeds and fertilizer. The real question is, what crop are we going to put in? And I'll be honest, I haven't decided yet. So, since it is getting 4 p.m. game time there, and it will be getting dark in the near future, I might just hold off on that until the next episode. As for this one, well... I'm thinking two unloaders is perfect because this guy's still trying to deliver. He's going so slow. There he goes. Hmm. What other contracts do we have that we can take? Well... There's a pretty worthwhile cultivating contract. We're going to just not even question that one. We're just going to accept. We have a good cultivator. It's a good size. Plowing. Um, same thing. There's a pretty good plowing contract right there. Man, even a good sewing contract. Oh, potatoes. That's why. Yeah. Lots and lots of potatoes. Cotton. <laughs> okay, are they having me plant anything else? Yes, good. Aw, too bad we weren't harvesting potatoes. <laughs> now, that's a question that I have not answered for myself yet, is whether or not I will do productions in this series. I don't... I don't think I will. Because it's really supposed to be about the vintage farming equipment, right? Whereas if I do productions... Well, I guess there's no argument really that I can make that those aren't vintage. Things have been made with crops by farmers all along throughout history, so... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I guess it'll depend on what you guys all say. In large part. You gonna you gonna go? You gonna go? Come on, come on, go, go, go. Faster, faster, faster. Get it done. <laughs> Alright. So that brings us to where we're gonna close things. Check the sale real quick. It's too bad this is a broken mod. Looks great in that picture, doesn't it? Nah, it's, nah, 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 nah. it's kind of decent price, but the blue paint doesn't work. Bad port from previous version, I guess. Um... So what do we have? We have the harvesters and their headers. We have several small tractors. What we really need, honestly, is a medium tractor, right? It's 4320. I don't, no, 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 I don't want to sell that. That's not what I meant to do, just looking. Okay, so yeah, what we could really use is a medium tractor. We're pretty set for now for the harvester. Yeah, it does take a while, but I don't mind that. Uh, this trailer is kind of garbage, but it's what we have. It's what we can afford. I don't think we can really justify anything more expensive.
That's all pretty modern. What I'd really like is a stone picker. Like, what exactly does this one do? Is it supposed to be connected to something in order to work? I don't know. But we do have this guy. Let's go with Michelins. You know I love my Michelins. I want that style. Might as well get it in John Deere green, right? And John Deere yellow, since my whole farm seems to be John Deere at this point. Uh, we'll leave it white on the rims. So that's going to be our purchase before we end the episode right there. A little late for our fields. Except for the one... Well, no. No, it's not. We haven't planted any of our fields yet, have we? I don't believe we have. Well, that's good. And we will have to figure out where we go from here. I was a little thrown off, obviously, by the map change over. But it is what it is. I just have to work with it. That's so expensive. <laughs> just throws me every time how expensive that is. Let's have a real quick look at medium tractors. I mean... We have the money. We could get ourselves a pretty nice tractor at this point. Alright, now I'm confused. I'm really confused. But that's normal for me. <laughs> Especially with the dogs where they're going, rawr, 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 rawr. I'm getting dumb looks from them all now. <laughs> but yeah, we could, uh, ooh, we could have a very nice tractor. That is sweet. I'm gonna do it. And I think that's the point at which we want to trade in our lowest horsepower tractor. Which has the 3020. So the 3020 is going to go. <laughs> that's great. Just as I buy a John Deere painted stone picker, I could have painted it Alice Chalmers, basically. Oh, well. How does this work? I do not know. Oh, I actually have to do that. Interesting. All right. We're not worried about that right now, though. So I will send this the long way around back to our farm and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Some quick bonus footage. We've completed the last contract. Things are on their way back to the farm. I've already gone and sold the 3020 and now I'm going to take the 4000 down to sell as well, and I will show you why as soon as I get to the store. I will see you there. Alright, we're rolling up on the vehicle repair slash selling point there. Hopefully it actually works. Good. With the other tractor, it did not work correctly. I had to fiddle with things. Alright, so. How much is it worth? 
almost 10 grand. So was the other one. We are now up to 20,000. It's upgrade time. So small tractors scroll quite far. Oh, no, no. Not the 710. It is another John Deere. Aha. 5020. It's 134 horsepower up from 101 of our others. And we can have a cab. Now, that's 134 horsepower for 12 and a half. There is a turbo version, though. That's 153. That is what I'm actually going to go for. And it is 15,000. So, anything else we want real quick? No, everything else we can add at another point if we need it. So we're just going to buy that. There was also a um, repower version. Um, I'm assuming like some Caterpillar or something under the hood instead of the John Deere diesel. But this is what I wanted. This is, the other one was almost double the price for the repower and only got you 20 more horsepower. So now we will call it a day. Thank you all for watching.